Hello, I'm Manushri. And I'm Navina. And today we are going to be reviewing J Beam, which is a 2021 film starring actor Surya. It's directed by TJ Nyanavil, and this entire movie is about police brutality. So just a quick disclaimer, this movie is incredibly graphic and it's based off of true events. So if you do go to watch this movie, understand that there are going to be some really, really, there's a lot of gore and there's a lot of violence. But just make sure that you are able to understand that um, it is always obviously just a film, but these events did occur in real life. So the movie has a lot of graphics and it is just a graphic film. Now that that's out of the way, make sure to watch that movie before watching the review because we'll probably have some spoilers. So now we can start with the story. We have, um, we have a, you go ahead with the story. A family of three who are really happy, they're, very, they're poor but they're really happy, and they are what, they are what is deemed as a low caste in the movie. Yes. yes. They're poor, they live in slums, um, but they are happy people and they're not rich or anything like that. And they catch, they catch snakes for a living. Yes, and yeah, so they're not rich, they have a family, um, we have a husband and a wife and then a kid, and you know, they're really happy. Again, very poor and just, you know, not in the best situation, I guess, And yet, but they are still happy. So um, obviously what they are, what is deemed as a low caste, and then they have people who, uh, who you know, obviously believe they're higher caste than them. So whenever there's this, like a snake or something, they'll, they'll call them as snake catchers and do that. And obviously, we know about all the issues that have been ha that have were like um, there's actually a lot of shots like where the people who are deemed as lower caste are not able, allowed to touch those who are deemed as higher castes, and so we see that in the movie, and just this big um, drift between the two castes. So we see that, and basically they use this as a way, like a, almost as leverage in a way to um, pin crimes on the people who are deemed as lower castes. And so we see an entire scene where um, police officers ask those who have been jailed uh, what their castes are. And for the people who were, as who are what is considered in that village as higher castes, those people were let go. And those, what is considered as lower, those people were actually reprimanded for the higher castes, like framed for the higher castes um, crimes. And so we have all these people going scot-free because if they were, if they were reprimanded, if they were accused, it's going to cause some political issue, there's going to be some problem with the police. So therefore, they have pinned it out on people who are deemed as lower caste. So that's they're what we have They there. mostly did the pinning thing just to get cases closed because they were too lazy to open them all up because there's too many. Yeah. And so now how, do, how, do, how does our um, snake catcher family play with this? They're called to a house one day to catch snakes. So they do. And well, then they're they called to a supposedly higher caste house. Yes. Mm -hmm. And and. He comes and catches the snake because they can't do it themselves. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm kidding. But he comes and catches the snake and he leaves. He does he does his job and he just goes. And then and a few days later there are jewels that are stolen. And then they have no one to pin the crime on, so they they accuse the snake catcher, who, by the way, spoiler, is entirely innocent. Him and his friends are all entirely innocent. They have no idea that this crime happened. But then they're now caught, um or no, they're the police have caught. taken them in, taken them into custody and saying, Oh, you guys stole the jewels, where are they? And so in order to get a confession out of them, they use brutality. They use, they use a police. A lot of brutality. Yeah, they keep on, they keep on going. It is, uh, it, is, it is extensive. The torture is crazy. It, it's, a, it's a lot to handle. And you know, it obviously starts with things, you know, things that we've all seen like in Indian jails, like beating and everything. Actually here in America, police brutality, it is, it is still prevalent. However, lockup torture is not a thing. And it is different. Like, if any American were to watch this movie, they could understand that in India it's a lot more serious than it is here. And so we have um, some incredibly graphic, graphic torture shots and stuff like that. And this is all because the police want to get a confession out of these people who didn't do anything. And yet they still stay true and they do not confess. Because, even, I mean, even if they do confess, something bad's gonna happen to them. Even if they don't, something bad's gonna happen to them. And it's all because of their position, their status, their wealth. But they, they want to stay true to themselves. And they, basically this guy is brought into the jail and a lot of his, a lot of other people are brought in who know him and they're hurt too. But he's, he will not give in. He will not like confess to a crime that he didn't do. And then in this, he has a wife who is actually pregnant with another child and she, um, she's pregnant with another child she's actually expecting she's about to deliver the baby and her husband is in jail for something he didn't do and so 
her entire fight for the movie is basically trying to get him out and she has witnessed the brutality he has faced and but she is again a very poor woman in something that is considered a low caste how will she be able to find someone who is willing to help her and then when things take a turn is when the three men are deemed as missing from the police station and so that's when we try to we have this this is where surya comes in and i think so, surya comes in surya, surya comes surya. in earlier than when they go missing they're for they first i think does he i'm not sure he comes in at some point and the three men the the guy and his two friends. no no uh, Su surya comes in after yeah guy. okay okay but like he has two friends and all three of them just go missing. Is they Rajak Khanne, Musik Kutti, and Veerik Tukki? Oh, did I get that? I think yes, I got that right. Yes, you did. Yeah, so th those three. And so those are all people who have gone missing. And so Surya comes in. And then he um, basically, Surya comes in. And what, um, basically there's a, an, a teacher who teaches adult literacy classes. She's actually really good friends with the pregnant wife who's trying to find her husband. And so they have connections. And somehow she's able to find this really, really good lawyer who is Surya, who actually plays, um, I forgot his full name, but he goes by Chandru. He's the lawyer, he's the star, he's basically the main character. What do you mean? So there's a long chain of connections here. How on earth was this pregnant woman, Sengani, by the way, that's her name, how was she able to get Chandru, who is a lawyer played by Surya, how was she able to get that lawyer to come help her? Well, she has a friend who is an adult literacy teacher, who is actually, um, who has good connections with a local communist leader and this communist leader is actually able to find this advocate who works for the people he doesn't get paid or anything but he works for the people and so now we have this uh and he's also a lawyer in training like he's a new lawyer he re recently actually later becomes a um what's the word justice. a justice a justice and so he's actually based off of a true guy uh, an actual person named chandru and that's who Surya is played by and this person actually is the prominent figure in the film he's a person who um, wins cases and he's the lawyer and he's actually still alive today so we get to see a lot of cool things about him and there's actually a lot of cool information and actually my dad has an entire video on this case which should be somewhere up here but there'll be a link around here somewhere <laughs> somewhere, up here. somewhere up here but um or so down. I don't know I don't know where he's gonna put it <laughs> okay no, maybe out there oh my gosh so he so we will have a, a link to that video but yes so we have surya now who is going to help her find um her husband and so we have we have a lot of cool lawyer terms i think it's is it habeas corpus yes, yes. Okay. yes basically where you need to produce an actual so basically that's that's the case where you need to produce an actual human in court and we're trying to find out who that human or like we're trying to find out where that human is and so now we're trying to find her husband and they're all missing and so basically the entire plot of the film is you know where have they gone what has happened to them and actually there's a lot of spoilers in this movie i don't know if we want to say all of them i don't know because there are a lot but you know basically the entire film is just centered around police brutality and how horrible it really is and you know just the punishment that these people have taken because of their stance in in, in like in the social hierarchy because they are um poor and because they are um deemed as a lower caste you know the struggles they have to go through and how much dignity they have to lose for the sake of higher officials and so that's what the entire movie is about and it's all based off of a true case and i we obviously don't want to tell you the verdict of the case obviously but like um it is based off of a true story actual people the wife actually she's living now she's like 76 years old she's living and you know she lived to tell she's there to tell the story and everything but the movie itself was really really well done again i often talk about my declining hope for tamil cinema all the time <laughs> i know that sounds so bad <laughs> but just you know um, it's, it's the modern it's the modern. it's just the modernization of the tamil industry has disappointed me greatly and me i too. just i like seeing things that are different and this movie was incredibly different and just really wonderful it is very long it's like almost it's over it's a good movie though. it's over two hours but i it was riveting it's, it's throughout. Worth it. very it's yes worth it. worth it and um i would give this movie a 10 out of 10 honestly in my opinion would you give it a 10 out of 10 yeah sure okay perfect. Nah, nah, nah. this is the first time i mean i agree we give this movie a 10 out of 10 because it is just really really well done it's it's based on, I mean, like, you you feel like you're in a courtroom in that movie. You know that everyone's done their homework on that set. Like, they have replicated the Indian courtroom exactly. And it's just really information. Like, it's both informational, 
but it is also incredibly brutal but it is also like really sweet like there's just a lot of nice moments in it and i think i think it could win some awards in the future definitely but yeah so um we recommend you definitely watch this movie and oh, again, also they don't overhype surya oh right yes, yes actually just, like, the, the first shot where surya comes in well i mean it's a little around. hyped it's a, it's a little I mean, because, hyped. because it's surya yeah but like you know they don't do that whole <laughs> foot out of the car <laughs> sorry oh my god it's the guy's shoe <laughs> okay okay anyway <laughs> there's no overhype you just he turns around and surya and you're like oh it's surya and you have that little moment there and we actually have a lot of really cool prominent actors in this film such as um prakash raj uh ms basker um was manigan is his name manigan manigan <laughs> please cut that out <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Oh. <clears throat> actor Mani Gandhi, who actually he acted in another movie, Sila Karaputi. I remember the name. Okay, that's the movie. He acted in that movie, and he acted as such an adorable character in that movie. And then in this, he did incredible. Such such a good actor. Seriously, this guy needs to he needs to go on into more movies. And and and, you know, the, and the wife. And, and the wife, she also did really really well. Um, they really like they brought the 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 the, the poor village. look to these people i guess and i like you know set design was incredible stuff like that cinematography cinematography is really good you know we had um lots of shots reminded me of movies like uh, like vage surva veil all those movies like i was getting very much that kind of thing i was actually this movie was very much almost like that she mine feel you know that director like the way the way he directs movies i was getting very much that but this director actually i've never heard of and he did really really well um I believe was this movie based on a book? No. It's based on a true story. So I mean, oh, obviously a book? I would No, there's no book. <laughs> no, <laughs> there's no book. Not not to say that you need to know the story before coming into the movie. I actually think maybe it's better if you are a little ignorant about this and then watch the movie and, and then, then you'll learn your research. and then read about it because it is a really fascinating story. Anyway, what do we want to go off of is Wait, I never did the music. Oh, you do the music. The music is great because it's all lyrical and it's all sad and it's all a lady singing really sadly. And it's nice. Yeah, cinematography was was really well as well. Set design. I just I loved everything. I thought it was really well done. Um I think what we want you to take away from this is I think what a horrible issue police brutality is in India. In in India and um, also in America. in some points. I mean in America it's it's here. Like we it is here. People are abusing their power. They're It is like, still here. <clears throat> it's just not as prominent. People are abusing their like authoritative power because they're because they're what? more ex- more wealthy stuff like that. Because they're in a higher governmental position, they're abusing their power and therefore ex- um exploiting these people who aren't as lucky as them, you know, in life. And so I think we need to talk about that. And again, this was set in 1995, so this was a while back. I'm sure the police brutality issue has gotten much better, but it is still there, and I know it's still there. And obviously, humans are humans. I mean, of course, people are going to be criminals, and of course, there has to be consequences. But for something as simple as theft, not even yeah, actual yeah, yeah. theft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's even if it was theft. the actual person, accused you would not theft. beat him that much. You can't because he stole something. Yeah, you can't you can't beat someone that much just like that. And they are a human as well. I mean, yes. Okay, yes they stole it, which wasn't right, but they had their reasons, you know? Right. And he didn't even steal. It. That that being driven by the government positions, the exact the very government driving driving them into that driving. state. Dri- the ver- the very exact government, that exact government that has driven them into that state. is now trying to exploit them. It's twisted and it's just that's just how society is. And so I just, you know, lots lots of questions about this movie. There's again, lots of things dealing with police brutality, violence towards women. I saw that a lot. Violence towards um people of lower status and obviously we have caste issues and everything, which is which is there. And um I also saw like lots of things about um trying to I guess have shared equality, you know, there was clashes between political parties. There's just a lot in this movie. And you know, since it was so much, I just think it was engaging throughout. We already decided we'd give it a 10 out of 10. This movie review has gone on very long. <laughs> It's just we had so much to say about this movie. We're saying that you need to watch it. Like you have to watch it. And that is looking at me. Um I you, am. You ready to finish? Yes. Uh <laughs> Thank you for watching. Uh please like, share, comment and subscribe. <laughs>